Hey guys, I hope that you are all doing wonderful. Today we have a great episode. We're making a very simple seafood paella with quinoa. Guys, we're talking a ton of flavor, very healthy, and done in a little over 30 minutes. As you guys can see, we are using quinoa in this recipe. Such an incredible ingredient, loaded with protein, loaded with fiber, and adds a beautiful flavor and texture to any dish that you use it to. Now to make this paella, you don't need a paella pan. I'm gonna be using just a standard nonstick frying pan. It makes it so much easier for everybody. And last but not least, this is still a Spanish paella, so make sure use some high quality saffron. Don't use the imitation stuff. This is what's going to flavor the entire dish. As always, I am using saffron threads from Golden Saffron. I always tell you guys, one of the best ones in the market, truly grade one, high quality premium saffron. Get yourself a tin of this. It's going to take this paella over the top and every other paella you will ever make. Again, guys, link in the description box below where you can get this. All right, folks, let's get started. We're going to begin by grabbing one cup of quinoa and rinsing it under some cold running water. Next, we're gonna finely mince three cloves of garlic. Finely dicing half of a small onion. We'll grab one clean tube of squid. I bought this frozen and thawed it out, and I'm gonna cut it into small squares. And for the last ingredient to prepare, I've got about 12 raw jumbo shrimp here. These have already been peeled and deveined. I bought these frozen and thawed them out just to make things cheaper. I'm gonna pat them down with some paper towels and then season them with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. Okay guys, let's start cooking. I'm gonna add two cups of a high quality fish broth into a saucepan. Pinch in half a teaspoon of saffron threads and heat it with a medium high heat. For the next step, grab a large nonstick frying pan, add in a generous two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and heat it with a medium high heat. After heating the olive oil for about one minute, let's season it with some sea salt, and add our squid into the pan. And start mixing it around with the extra virgin olive oil. About one minute after adding the squid into the pan, let's go ahead and remove it and transfer it into a bowl. Now using the same pan with the same heat, let's add in our diced onions and our minced garlic. And again, continue to mix this with the extra virgin olive oil. About 90 seconds after adding the garlic and the onions into the pan, Let's go ahead and add in half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. Mix it all together. Once it's well mixed, let's add in half a cup of canned tomato sauce. Season it with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. Add the squid back into the pan and mix it all together. About one minute after adding the canned tomato sauce into the pan, let's add our quinoa in there. And mix this all together until it's well combined. Once everything is well combined, let's grab our saucepan that had that fish broth with the saffron and add it in there. We'll season it with a little sea salt and give it a gentle mix. That way everything's evenly divided. And we're gonna simmer this on a medium high heat between 12 to 15 minutes. And unlike a typical paella, you can get in there once in a while, give it a quick mix. That way everything's evenly divided. Okay, it's been about 12 minutes since we added the fish broth into the pan. As you can see, a lot of it has been absorbed from the quinoa. At this point, let's add our shrimp in there. Place a lid on the pan, and we're gonna lower this to a low medium heat.
It's been exactly seven minutes since we added the lid into the pan and there's almost no broth left in there. Let's go ahead and remove this from the heat. Remove the lid from the pan. For the next step, which is a very important step when you're working with quinoa, make sure you get in there with a fork and start fluffing it up. The reason why this is an important step when you're working with quinoa is because if you don't fluff it up, it's kind of like couscous. It just kind of makes it fluffier. That way it's not so flat. Once you have your quinoa fluffed up, let's add a couple slices of lemon for garnish and some freshly chopped parsley. Okay guys, our simple seafood paella with quinoa is done. It looks insanely delicious. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. This seriously looks to die for. Here we go. It's a power punch of flavor smoke. It's just Spanish flavors in your mouth. So good. I'm so used to the regular paella. You know, right now we're with the quinoa. It's a completely different texture, but the flavors are there. Such a healthy paella. So good. Easy to make. Done in a little over 35 minutes. You know, this is perfect, guys, for a busy weeknight, for a relaxed weekend lunch. Good food, healthy. Does not get better than that. Before I go, I'd like to thank one of my newest patrons, Lawrence Bourbon. Thank you so much for your support here on Spain on Pork. I truly appreciate you. The rest of you want to help me out on Patreon. Helps to buy the ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You guys will find the link in the description box below. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. And if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till next time, hasta luego.